There are some tieflings holed up in a druid's grove nearby. Sounds like a good lead. Hopefully our guy will be among them. A tune-up would do this old tub a world of good. Okay, but first let's long rest. One horn, the stink of Avernus. Nah. Advocatus Diaboli. Well, I'll be God's damned. The blade of frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Karlak. The Archdevil Zeriel's gladiator. Come to burn the Sword Coast to ash. No, 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 it's fine. Well, not counting the fuckers that need a good hurting. Shut it, devil. I know your kind. A heart darker than a shadow's nightmares. You'd cut a child's throat just to taste the blood. A devil? I didn't take the blade for a fool. I'm a great fire. Ah, there we go. Through you. The fire of the first hell. You are Karlak, tearing through demons across a blood red landscape of fire and volcanic cinder. The front lines of the blood war. With every swing of her axe, Karlak fulfills Mistress Zariel's purpose. Proof clear as summer sky. It's over, Karlak. It's I have the high ground. The of the blade. I've tried to tell you. I'm not what you think I am. Another vision. Karlak's blade rays slicing through devils. Zariel's servants as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Will shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the blood war, not an agent of it. By Baldurin's helm, I... No, I will not be tricked. You saw the truth. I may be an effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. Nah, uh, stand down. She's not a danger. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. No! Devils cannot be trusted! Will! You saw her thoughts. You know monsters better than anyone. Can't you look in my eyes and see I'm not a devil? You don't know what this means. You don't know what you're asking me to do. I'm asking you to live, Will. I don't want to hurt you. And to be frank, I'd rather not find out how the blade got his name. I swear to you, on all I am, I'm not what you think. Shit! Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt, but there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye, truce. I see the good in you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it, even when the hells burn hottest. Now kiss. No, I'm. <laughs> Wait, who's that? Okay, that's Will. Uh, let's talk to Charlatch first. Well, let's save first. God, it's been an hour and we've done, like, one thing. Glad Will saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. It takes a pretty slick mover to track down old Karlak. Nice work on clearing. Thank you. Does it? You're pretty loud. Yeah, you know what, too. Same. Now, instead of a liability, I've got a friend. Or I will have Sue, anyway. Aw, I like her. I should speak up. All right, let's go talk to Wilg. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. Someone set you on I a I can tail. say only this. 
Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. One night soon, when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. Penance? You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. Hmm. I'm gonna look at my spellbook. Right, okay, so I don't have Eldritch Blast because I got rid of it for this, and I kind of regret that. And I can't change it without a substantial amount of gold. Hmm. Oh, that's something I'll deal with later. At time. Actually, let's let's talk to Carlac some more. Copper for your thoughts. The year, ten air. The place, sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Three. Our hero, Carlac, a not need delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give. <laughs> And nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. Can't say I do. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Hold oh, on, you know what I've forgotten to do? Yeah, get rid of that. <laughs> That's just occurred to me. Um, who? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, Wait, what girl? I feel so invincible again. Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. She's like Very Brian from control. Tekken. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn. Enticed, hot. you say? Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. <coughs> I, I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. <laughs> One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, start making up for lost time. But, not oh, today. Aw, thanks, Coco. Coco, who would you romance? Starring, I'm guessing? Hey, soldier. First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Things powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the Hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. <laughs> Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> and another person anyway, I won't say because spoilers, I see. <laughs> anyway, what are we talking about? Well, that's enough for now. Uh, sleep time.
Well, if you're asking, I personally romance Shadowheart. Nice. Every time that cutscene triggers, I think something's about to happen. No. Oh, well. <gasps> Scratch. What path lies before me? Hello, Scratch. Oh wait. Um. There. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I'm sorry about what Master. happened. Friend. I stayed with him until, until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him, but I'm glad to have met you. Aww. <laughs> Oh, that was that, that was that was great. Okay, yeah, I can I can talk to an I have I have talk with animals. On my other playthrough, I have speak with dead. All right, let's loot this building and then we'll go back to the grove. What's so funny? You haven't got some laughing curse, have you? out of Avernus. It's incredible. All right, just keep it down. We're conspicuous enough without your hyena call. Oh, could we have slept here? What's inside? So after the last room, did you kill Koga? Nope. Though I guess we could go do that now. What's this way? Okay, it doesn't say. Alright. We are not going to investigate Ko What is this? Oh, ping. Ping map and journal. Okay. I'm gonna go back here. Because there's some people we gotta talk to. No, we're gonna kill her. Hopefully. Maybe we'll be able to do it now that we have Charlatch. Just be careful. Okay. Okay, first I want to talk to this lady. Is it her? No. Her. Where the hell did I just come from? Okay. We should have left by now. Damnation. Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. The tieflings need help. And what about us? 
There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. Yup. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade. You're a tiefling. Insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Why are you so eager? You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Oh. Yes, that Laroican. I don't know that The is. greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. Cool. His name is known far and wide, I see. Few can match him in terms of raw power and talent. Until now, that is. The in years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. Sure. It isn't the talk of the camp. It's a rare day when I see one of you lot about. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of colour in those cheeks, Pettle. <laughs> Harsh, cold, feverish. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Letter. You'll take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. What is this? Oh, it's just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it. But are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. I've got a tadpole in me brain. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. Nice. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Something doesn't add up about this one. Don't tell her anything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Uh, Shadowheart doesn't trust her. So I'm gonna go with what Shadowheart says. As you wish, Petal. Thank you. No, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Yeah, sure. Hey, bother. Yay, potion of greater healing. What is this? Huh. What is this? Oh, it's a quarter stuff. Oh, Gale can absorb this. Okay. How much is it? Oh, it's it's a lot. I'm not gonna... Uh, oh right, we can give that to. Uh, we can give that to Shadowheart. Um. There. 
Easy. Take care now, sweetie. Hey, Doc, sorry, but I gotta deal with something. All good. Okay, I do have healing. Healing potion is good. How much further can I go? How far I'll go? Oh. Hello. Yes, I'm quite aware. What but Amigos Animales. Oh, okay. Also, did he just say Amicus Anima? Seems simple enough. Friend? Anim? Wait, no. I don't remember what animal is in, in Latin. Amicus is friend. Male friend, specifically. Amicable. Can I talk to you? What will you do? Hunt me? Grab my tail? Shout until my head hurts? Relax, no one's here to hurt you. Stupid or a liar? Neither is needed here. Go! Fine. Where's the snake? Yeah, whatever. Let's save and let's stab the shit out of Korga. Oh, can we talk to the rat watches your movements but does not speak. Ah. How delicious. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, maybe not shift. What if you just hide? The Outlander has betrayed us. I should have known. Druids, we cannot compromise any longer. Ah, uh, the fact that that worked is so good. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um. Oh, everyone else ran away. Where am I? Oh, I'm Shadowheart right now. Um. No, let's dash. And then give this to a star. I won't 
give in. That that's actually annoying. No word. In position. Oh, I can't, I can't shove her, okay. <gasps> Chest trauma! Oh, that's amazing. Okay, 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 okay. Ha, ah, you missed. Nobody came to save her this time. Ooh. Is that a cantrip? No, okay. Wait. So what does this do? Illuminate. Oh, okay. Sick! Uh, let's short rest. That helped. With haste. And we'll quick save. Here goes nothing. No one knows what I did, right? <laughs> <laughs> 